Welcome to the Bloomfield Youth Assistance Outstanding Youth Citizen Awards Ceremony. May the fourth be with you. I'm Deborah Colin, and this is Natalie Finnerty. We are your co-chairs of Bloomfield Youth Assistance. Our ceremony this evening will follow this order, and we'd like to start the evening welcoming Lindsay Rillema, a member of the Bloomfield Hills High School Choral Program, who will perform our national anthem. Please rise. Oh, city, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. So much, Lindsay. Some of you may know who we are, and some may not have heard of Bloomfield Youth Assistance until this award opportunity. Let us take a few minutes to tell you about Bloomfield Youth Assistance. BYA is part of the larger Oakland County Youth Assistance Organization, which is sponsored by the Oakland County Family Court Division. Oakland County Youth Assistance was formed in 1953 to strengthen youth and families and reduce the incidence of delinquency, neglect, and abuse through community involvement. We currently have 26 youth assistance programs in Oakland County. We are a nonprofit organization funded through grants, personal donations, partnerships with Oakland County, Bloomfield Township, and the City of Bloomfield Hills, as well as the Bloomfield Hills School District. BYA is focused on providing casework services for youth and families within our community designed to circumvent issues before they cause long-term impact. We also offer enrichment scholarships to families within our area and partner with local resources to offer educational and mental health related programs. In addition to all of this, we have the privilege of recognizing adults and students in our area for their outstanding community contributions each year, which brings us to why we are here this evening. Please welcome our BYA Recognition Committee, who reviews applications, makes hard decisions, and hosts this exciting event. In addition to Natalie and myself, our chairperson, Paulina Hakopian, and our committee members, Rosanna Harris, Gila Rath, and Paul Kohler. Students, when you are called up to the stage, please come up to the side to my right. 
stand in the designated spot where Lindsay did the national anthem. There's a white star on the stage. We will also call up a student who will be honored next. You can stand by the stairs. At the conclusion of the speaker's remarks, please pick up your folder, which uh, contains your reward, and then proceed back to your seat by exiting to my left. Please don't use the stairs, just come all the way through and then go back to your seat. If you're here as a student nominator, please stand in place while we recognize the student. And now for our high school honorees. Courtney Atkinson, please come up to the stage and Abby Sung, please come to the stairs. Courtney, a senior at BHHS, is sponsored by student leadership advisor, Krista LaLiberty. When you think of a student whose four years of high school is defined by giving back, you think of Courtney Atkinson. Courtney was involved in Project Porch, a fundraising collecting thousands of dollars of food for those in need. Courtney was one of our students, was one of our student spirit leaders in the high school, providing spirit and events to all students during the most difficult years, which included an outdoor prom, homecoming, charity color runs, and cheered on all of our co-curricular events. Courtney co-founded the Community Service Club dedicated to giving back to the community. The club collected and delivered over 200 holiday gifts to children in Michigan and originated perhaps the best fundraiser our community has ever had, Egg My Yard which not only brought joy to hundreds of young children by hiding eggs in their yards overnight for an Easter surprise, but raising $5,000 for a charity supporting abused children. Courtney's plans for next year are to study business management and marketing at Michigan State University. Congratulations, Courtney. Abby's up. Abby, please come up. Reem, please come to the stairs. Okay. Abby Sung, nominated by Crystal Liberty and in 12th grade at BHHS, is a born leader who, since she was a freshman, always thought about how she could impact her community and give all students a much needed role model and how to get involved. Abby led blood drives, the 5K fundraiser color run, and was an active planner in the BHHS Mental Health Summit, Make a Difference Day, just to name a few. Abby is also the co-founder of the Community Service Club, which helped deliver gifts to hundreds of students across Michigan, along with their signature event, Egg My Yard, which brought joy to hundreds of young students and raised thousands of dollars for abused children. Abby is one of the leaders of our Spirit Community Club by cheering on all of our students at co-curricular events and planning many other exam events to bring joy and community spirit. Abbott's, Abby's plans for the next fall is to study media management at the University of Miami in Coral Gables. Congratulations and good luck to you. Oh, sorry. No. They had a, uh, they were supposed to have a lacrosse game, so, but that got canceled. So forget that. Good luck Friday in your lacrosse game against Birmingham. <laughs> Alexandra Baldi, please come to the stairs. Reem Siddiqui was nominated for the Bloomfield Youth Assistance Youth Recognition Award by Gianfranco Cataldo, a teacher at Cranbrook Schools. Reem is a 10th grade student at Cranbrook Upper School and was nominated for her work establishing a nonprofit foundation, Michigan Caring Heart. She was inspired to start her foundation after accompanying her mother, Dr. Rana Khatib, to the Sickle Cell Clinic at Children's Hospital of Michigan. Reem's mother brought her to the clinic when they were unexpected days off of school. Reem saw the challenges some of the young patients faced, not only with undergoing treatment, but in getting to and from the hospital. She noticed that they were missing appointments due to not having transportation. She had an idea that she could raise money to provide transportation vouchers for parents who needed to bring their children for medical treatment. She decided that the best way to do that was to start a nonprofit foundation, and that is how Michigan Caring Heart began. Through Michigan Caring Heart, Reem raised $12,000. Her foresight and hard work 
continue to impact young patients at Children's Hospital of Michigan. Congratulations, Reem, and good luck at your robotics competition in Dallas tomorrow. <laughs> Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Alexandra, please come up. Alexandra was nominated by her counselor, Brian Fitzgerald. Alexandra is an 11th grader at Bloomfield Hills High School and was nominated for her outstanding work as an intern at a tech startup. Alexandra developed an independent student-run non, student nonprofit from her internship that develops workshops to thousands of high schoolers and coders globally. Alexandra is a remarkable young woman and has impacted and educated so many youth in computer science. According to her counselor, Alexandra is extremely talented in so many ways, but when you throw in her character and leadership, this is what makes her one of a kind. Alexandra is active in Asian Student Alliance, Chinese and National Honor Society, member of the Student Senate, a Yale University Young Global Scholar, a Carnegie Mellon Computer Science Scholar, and an award winner for aspirations in computing. She is also a trustee member of the Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan and has assisted in auditing close to 200 grants worth $90,000. Amazing work. Congratulations, Alexandra. Nada Basha, so Nada Basha could not be with us tonight. She is one of our youngest awardees from Bloomfield Hills High School. Nada was nominated by her teacher, Paul Vaughn, at Bloomfield Hills High School. Being a freshman at high school with the challenges to adapt and adjust to the new setting didn't stop Nada from seeking opportunities to give back to her community and go on the path of self-exploring. Nada shared her free time with her community, whether it was volunteering at the kids club at the Muslim Unity Center to help guide and mentor younger girls, or packing and sorting thousands of donated clothes for the less fortunate through the Muslim youth of North America. Throughout her volunteer experiences and at her young age, Nada was able to reflect on the impact these initiatives, not only on the recipients of such acts, but also on how such activities are impacting her as well. Nada, congratulations on being able to to recognize the essence of community service at these early years of your life, and congratulations on getting the BYA Award tonight. Brooke, please come up. Thomas Gormley, please come to the stairs. Brooke was nominated by Ron Whittables, the manager of radio operations for the BIF Radio at Bloomfield Hills High School. Brooke is an 11th grader at Bloomfield Hills High School, where she co-hosts a radio show on the BIF. On her show, she is able to highlight the accomplishments of students and broadcast it out to thousands of citizens. It allows for students from close to 30 co-curricular activities to receive the recognition they deserve. This show also allows to showcase the variety of diverse groups at Bloomfield Hills High School. Brooke also co-ran a book drive for Brilliant Detroit, Brooke was able to collect over 2,000 books and through this venture was able to inspire kids and influence thousands of lives. Brooke is a student ambassador, is in forensics, the business club, and on the golf team, and is a member of the National Honor Society. Brooke also volunteers and spends her spare time wrapping gifts for children in the hospital. Congratulations, Brooke. Thomas, please come up. Robin Igwe, please come to the stairs. Thomas Gormley is a junior at Bloomfield Hills High School. He was nominated by Kate Heyman, robotics parent mentor. Thomas has been the CAD leader for the Bloomfield Hills Bionic Blackhawks Team 2834 and carries a very heavy AP course load. In 2019, he became the lead student mentor for Durfee Middle School Robotics Bulldogs in Detroit. Thomas volunteered every Tuesday and Thursday after school, many long weekends at the lab every day leading up to the tournament and attended all tournaments with the Durfee team. Thomas demonstrates exceptional patience and care when interacting with the Durfee students, treating all with respect and providing a positive example of friend and mentor. Ms. Heyman says, many students have volunteered, but none have devoted more time and love to the students of Durfee than Thomas, absolutely above and beyond. Congratulations, Thomas. Congratulations. 
Robin, please come to the stage. Brooke Klein, please come to the stairs. Robin is a senior at Bloomfield Hills High School and has been nominated by Carol Mastriani, Executive Director, and Kelly Mashaw, the Youth Program Coordinator of the BBCC, Birmingham Bloomfield Community Coalition. Over the last four years, Robin regularly volunteers at the, and the BBCC and lead the, leads the Youth Action Board. The BBCC provides education, tools, activities, and support to help youth rise above life's challenges, specifically the ones associated with substance abuse prevention and mental health issues that faces youth today. From the start, Robin was an active participant and contributor to the bi-weekly meetings and has always demonstrated concern with focus on mental health and wellness. Throughout her four years of service, Robin gave countless hours of community service, maintained a 4.0 grade point average, along with being an athlete at school and regularly volunteered with organizations such as Gleaners and Habitat for Humanity. Robin was asked to serve as a Youth Action Board co-president, as well as serving as a voting member of the BBCC Board of Directors, bringing the youth voice and perspective to the board meetings. That is why it came to her college essay, she used the opportunity to shed a light on youth vaping crisis with the college essay titled, On the Brink of Extinction, in her essay. She didn't only discuss the impact of such unhealthy habits, she provided the reader with a detailed research-oriented approach to back up her assumptions. Robin plans on attending Case Western Reserve University and will be on the pre-med track with a psychology major. Robin, thank you for your dedication and commitment to the betterment of your generation, and congratulations. Brooke, please come up to the stage. Lucy Ness, please come to the stairs. Brooke Klein was nominated by her counselor, Laura Hollier Mattis. Brooke is an 11th grader at Bloomfield Hills High School. Brooke has truly been an inspiration overcoming a personal challenge. When Brooke was in the third grade, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. From that moment, Brooke's life changed. Brooke, however, continued to be an athlete and a role model for many other teens and children with type 1. Brooke and her family have participated in the JDRF Walk for eight years and have raised over $100,000. Brooke has also been very active in the organization and is assisting with the Spring Gala, which includes sending thank you notes to the donors. Brooke is on the gymnastic team, part of the Key Club, member of the Student Senate, co-president of the Jewish Student Alliance, and has been selected by her school to attend a leadership conference. Congratulations, Brooke. Lucy, please come up. Nikhil Katari, please come to the stairs. Lucy was nominated by her teacher, Mary Brogret. Lucy is a senior at Bloomfield Hills High School. Lucy has been exceptionally involved in the Bloomfield Hills Theater Department with the organization and design and creation of costumes. Lucy is an amazing talent and has even gone above and beyond to create a mentoring program for future costume designers at Bloomfield Hills High School. Lucy has also been active with mentoring students for their IB diploma projects. Lucy has an extreme passion for theater that has been evident in all her higher level theater classes and has even created a slide presentation for training future artists in the department. Lucy is involved in color guard, acts in touring shows, and is an important member of the Chamber and Symphony Orchestra at Bloomfield Hills as an assistant principal cellist. Next year, Lucy will be studying costume designs, designs and production at the University of Michigan. She also plans to continue with Color Guard and join the Michigan Marching Band. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nikhil, please join me on stage. Akita Kodian, please come to the stairs. Nikhil Katari, a junior at the International Academy Oakma campus, has received nominations from two peers, Mira Spurpada and Dylan Genelagata, as well as from Bloomfield Hills Middle School counselor, Frank DeVito. BHMS counselor, Mr. DeVito, shares that Nikhil started Project Climbing Everest, a teen-led forum for small groups of high school students to participate in a human book club and hear from speakers he recruits willing to share their stories of failures and fears. Students discuss how each person is climbing their own Everest in the process. 
International Academy counselor Kaylin Healy shares, one of the many goals in creating this program for Nikhil is to break the stigma of mental health and provide a safe outlet for teenagers to be open and honest about the mental health struggles they are currently facing. In addition to creating this phenomenal program, Nikhil also serves on the board of his forensics team and student government. He is a volunteer of the Helping Hands Club at school and has been an assistant coach for his younger brother's baseball, basketball, and football teams for many years. Nikhil, you have truly made an impact and have helped improve the lives of so many people around you. Congratulations. Akita, please come up. Cami Krugel, please come to the stairs. Akita is nominated by BHHS Associate Principal Jessica Lapone and is a senior at BHHS, is a member of the District Equity Council. Akita, in working with the ACLU and DOJ, helped write an inclusive hate and incident policy for the district. Not only did Akita write the policy, but she was also able to articulate and help roll this out to various student groups and administration across the district. Akita has dedicated her four years at our high school to equity work and seeing things through. Akita has helped develop equity training, held panel discussions for our students on DEI initiatives, and is a born leader that all students look up to. Akita will be attending the University of Michigan in the fall and will major in economics and public policy at the Honors College. Congratulations. Please join us on stage. Jack Meyer, please come to the stairs. Cami Krugel, a senior at Bloomfield Hills High School, is nominated by Crystal Liberty for her work with student leadership. Cami has been a member of student leadership for all of her four years here. She is the executive board secretary for the student body. Cami is also the founder and team leader for Project Prom a student-led service part project partnered with Wish Upon a Team. Ms. La Liberty calls Cami an unsung hero for her work with Michigan student leadership and for her service, leadership, passion, and optimism. Cami is a National Merit Scholar, a Jewish Community Center Team Impact Fellow. She's part of National Honor Society and on the Jewish Fund Team Board. She is also on Varsity Palm and Dance for the high school. Next year, Cami will attend Vanderbilt University, majoring in cognitive studies with a minor in data science, and she will be dancing on the university dance team. Congratulations, Cami. Congratulations. Jack, please come to the stage. Roxanne Parker, please come to the stairs. Jack Meyer, a senior at Bloomfield Hills High School, was nominated by counselor Shana Klein. Ms. Klein shares charismatic, endearing, and collaborative. These are the first qualities that come to mind when I think of Jack Meyer. To put it simply, Jack is a special kid. Jack has a light and spirit about him that draws you in. He is a natural communicator. Jack has exemplified superior service and participation in the theater and performing arts programs. He is a leader among his peers and has participated to the greatest extent possible. Four years of forensics, musicals, plays, radio station, and international thespian society. Also a participant in the film club and student leadership. Ron Whittables, Biff Radio Station general manager, when asked, said, As for radio, I'd consider him my right-hand assistant. He's been indispensable with regard to brainstorming, promotional ideas, and keeping us top of mind with the student body. His on-air performance elevates him to near professional level. To be succinct, had I a radio station of my own, I'd hire Jack instantly. Jack plans to attend the University of Alabama in the fall. Jack, based on all accounts and your level of involvement, we can safely say you indeed are a jack of all trades. Congratulations. Sam, please come up. And Naomi Parr, please come to the stairs.
Roxanne is nominated by Holly Arita, a director of teaching at Cranbrook Kingswood. Roxy struggles with anxiety and OCD, but manages it so that people she works with sometimes don't even realize it. Ms. Arita comments, I had always thought she was brave and gifted with human insight beyond her years, but the realization that her abilities came from working through her own challenges made me respect her courage and compassion even more. Roxy is a strong advocate for improving student mental health on campus, and last year, she led a gathering of school officials, students, and teachers to discuss the need for student voice in school decisions that affect kids. This brought healing and renewal to a tough school year. Roxy leads community initiatives in and outside of the classroom. As a seasoned community activist, Roxy played a critical role in the making of a community mural and documentary about the collaboration with a Detroit-based Mexican artist to produce the Spirit of Cranbrook Community mural that was installed in Cranbrook's quad. Roxy's nomination included many, many other projects and examples of her tenacity and dedication to the community. In her teacher's words, Roxy is one of a kind, a true asset to society and dedicated to our region. She deserves the highest respect and recognition, and I am grateful to have this opportunity to nominate her. Next year, Roxy will continue her studies, her success at George Washington University studying political science and French. Congratulations, Roxy. Jessica Piazic, please come to the stairs. Naomi Parr was nominated by a well-respected volunteer and student advocate, Teresa Solomon. Naomi was chosen to represent our district in the National Equity Project, and she was recruited to be a founding member of the Jewish Youth Climate Movement. She enthusiastically takes the knowledge she has learned and shares it within the school community and cross-connects that information to push for climate justice. Naomi is also a Bloomfield Hills High School forensics team captain, and this past weekend won second place at the state competition in her category. She is also an International Thespian Society board officer. Naomi tutors students in history, Spanish, math, and reading, and provides reading recovery instruction through the National Honor Society program. Naomi designed the logo adopted by the globally accredited organization, Hazan, Further, Naomi created literature and public speaking materials for educational training sessions and has presented at national scale conferences. Naomi is an IB diploma candidate and next year she will attend the University of Michigan College of Literature, Arts and Science, studying archeology span and possibly playwriting. It is certain that Naomi has a bright future. Congratulations. Jessica, please come to the stage. Alexander Sue, please come to the stairs. Jessica is a senior at Bloomfield Hills High School and was nominated by her counselor, um, Melanie Brooks. Ms. Brooks shares, this year, Jessica suffered a stroke and missed several months of school. While she was recovering, she maintained her outstanding grades. She was fortunate to have excellent medical care during her stroke and recovery and decided to enroll as an EMT while still attending Bloomfield Hills High School. During her dual enrollment, she has continued to maintain her stellar grade point average. She wants to eventually go on to pursue a career in medicine. Jessica is an inspiration to her fellow students. Her selflessness, positive attitude, and strength are what have allowed her to succeed and to be an inspiration to others. This summer, Jessica is going through an EMT program through OCC, and then in the fall, she is going to Grand Valley State University, majoring in biomedical sciences with an emphasis on pre-medicine. Congratulations, Jessica. Alexander, please come to the stage. Andrew Speaks, please come to the stairs. Alexander Sue is a junior at Bloomfield Hills High School. He was nominated by counselor Melanie Brooks. Ms. Brooks was notified in May of 2020 that Alexander was experiencing serious health challenges that began in March following the school shutdown. He began to experience numbness in his extremities and had difficulty walking, standing, balancing, and getting dressed. 
He could barely hold a pen or pencil or type on a keyboard. He was hospitalized for three weeks and was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. Alexander had all A's in his classes prior to his diagnosis. Despite all his physical challenges, he was completed his coursework and maintained a 4.0 grade point average. Truly remarkable. His determination and dedication to his schoolwork despite these obstacles are why he is here today and what has made him a role model for others. Congratulations, Alexander. Drew, please come to the stage. Manasi, please come to the stairs. We always hear the phrase, it's all about the team. Drew's coach, Bruce McAllister, who sponsored Andrew for this award, simply said, if it was not for Drew's desire to think about the team over himself, the BHH boys hockey team would not have had the season of their lives, which will be lifelong memories for all of them. Drew suffered a season, a season ending injury in football that multiple doctors said should sideline him from hockey for the entire year. Drew, not wanting to let his teammates down, decided to play despite risking more severe injuries in order to be there both physically and emotionally for his teammates as the leader on and off the ice. By season's end, the team had its most successful season ever, and Drew was the team's MVP. As Coach, as Coach McAllister stated, only a rare person could have pulled could have pulled this off. Congratulations, Drew, on this award. Congratulations, Congratulations. Congratulations. please come up and And we have Lindsay coming to the stage, coming to the stairs. Counselor Tony Medea nominates Manusvi Tawari for, in Mr. Medea's words, her unparalleled courage and character. Manusvi's older brother was unexpectedly diagnosed with three life-threatening forms of cancer. During this time, her parents were often absent managing her older brother's medical condition. Adding to the difficulty of family medical issues, her mother was also diagnosed with a life-altering issue. During that time, Manusvi fully managed the affairs of her family's home, schoolwork, and transportation, all while performing exceptionally well with her studies. Additionally, at the same time, she was also caring for her 83-year-old grandmother. Manusvi is an outstanding student at Bloomfield Hills High School with a perfect 4.0 grade point average in a curriculum including international baccalaureate and advanced placed, placement coursework. Her ability to persevere through challenging and excruciating family circumstances is unmatched. At the age of 14, Manusvi was a bone marrow donor for her brother, which helped save her brother's life. Mr. Medea comments, Manusvi is a young woman who displays the strength of character, maturity, and fortitude of supporting her family while maintaining excellent grades without supervision. Her actions and attitude display the best of Bloomfield Hills. Congratulations. Lindsay is a rare student whose mission is to give back to others and find ways to help our community around her. She's a senior at BHHS and is nominated by Crystal Liberty. Lindsay is heavily involved in a program called Project Prom, which has a mission to bring the prom to students unable to go to a prom because either of a physical or mental capacity. Lindsay worked with Wish Upon a Teen to make this happen for hundreds of students. Lindsay, who is also the editor-in-chief of the award-winning newspaper, The Hawkeye, dedicates her editorial columns providing guidance, mentorship, and advice to others. Lindsay started a blog helping students' mental health and is part of the Mental Health Summit. Lindsay was also key in our annual Make a Difference Day. Lindsay, because of all of these activities and accomplishments, won the prestigious Michigan Student of the Year Award given to a student who has demonstrated a commitment to his or her community. 
Next year, Lindsay will attend the University of Michigan in the Literature, Arts, and the uh, Literature, Science, and the Arts Honors Program. Congratulations. Andrew, please come up. Lex Grattan, please come to the stairs. Andrew was nominated by Crystal Liberty, a teacher at Bloomfield Hills High School. Andrew is a senior at Bloomfield Hills High School. He is co-president of the 2021-22 Student Leadership Executive Board, founder of Project Porch Pantry, which raises money and food donations for Lighthouse of Oakland County, lead ambassador at Bloomfield Hills High School, team lead for BYOD that raises money for Detroit Dog Rescue and Happy Paws. According to Mrs. Le Liberty, Andrew was nominated due to his strong leadership, his vital contributions to the high school, and to the Bloomfield Hills community at large. He has worked to build relationships between students, teachers, the administration, and parents, all of whom make up Bloomfield Hills High School community. He has collected donations and raised awareness for community needs, including Lighthouse, Focus Detroit, Orchards Children's Services, Children's Hospital of Michigan, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Wish Upon a Teen, Detroit Dog Rescue, to name a few. The largest project was Project Porch Pantry, which raised 20,000 pounds of food and $6,000 during the pandemic. In total, Andrew has headed 30 fundraisers during his time at Bloomfield Hills High School. He has made a huge impact both school-wide and for the entire Bloomfield and Metro Detroit area. Next year, Andrew will study pre-med at the University of Michigan. Congratulations, Andrew. Lex, please come up. Ayan Jawad, please come to the stairs. <laughs> Lex Gratton, an eighth grade student at West Hills Middle School, was nominated by teacher Lisa Kreisa. Lex is a founding member of the GSA at West Hills Middle School. Ms. Kreisa says, Lex is compassionate, creative, and fiercely loyal to the club. He is willing to do anything for the group and always tries to bolster membership. He has a quiet strength that the club relies on. Lex is an example of what it means to be true to yourself and accept others for who they are. He shows no judgment and wants everyone to feel safe and included. He makes for a wonderful ally. Thank you, Lex, for your inspired influence and contributions to the West Hills community. Congratulations. Ian, please join me. It's not, okay. Gabrielle, please come to the stairs. It is my honor to present to you today a special middle school student, Ian Jawad. Ian has been nominated by Jill Sloan, his teacher at BHMS. Ms. Sloan indicated that Ian not only has shown leadership and the desire to serve the community by initiating and establishing the MSA, but also in her words, describe a brave young boy that, for a long time, been the only Muslim boy making prayers at school. However, when others joined, he stepped up and led the congregational prayers, then took it upon himself to find a long-term solution and established an MSA chapter at his school for all other Muslim students of BHMS for years to come. No one has had made prayer along, or no one misses the company and support of the Muslim peers like he did. I didn't stop. There, he went on to empower the founding members of MSA by encouraging them to reach out to students of all grade levels and talking up the MSA. He also ment mentored them and given them leadership opportunities that a true leader is in the making. Of course, his impact did expand beyond the school and his classmates. At home, I am recruiting his si recruited his siblings to make holiday greeting cards, packing, delivering gifts to their neighbors, and school friends on Christmas Eve during the lockdown, even though he and his family don't observe the holiday he tried to alleviate some of the anxiety everyone was going through during the pandemic by a simple act of kindness. I am thank you for your bravery and kindness and innovation, and we can't wait to see your impact on the world. Congratulations. <laughs> Gabrielle, please come up. Olivia Randall, please come to the stairs. Now we move on to another exceptional middle schooler, Gabriela Orchea, who arrived in the U.S. in the fall of 2019.
Gab was nominated by Michelle Strand, his teacher in the middle school. She explains that when she first met Gabrielle, he had very limited English language proficiency and facing the challenges of creating friends in a new culture and school system coming from the Philippines. Having gone through a similar transition when I migrated to the U.S. when I was 18 years old, I can only imagine the toll of such event on a middle schooler. Gab didn't thrive. I apologize. This was supposed to be read by somebody else, so I'm, I'm reading it. So it wasn't me. I did not um, migrate to the U.S. when I was 18 years old. I migrated from New York to here when I was... Five. Gab didn't only thrive under such a challenge and continued to bridge the language and culture gap, he also continued to model a true multilingual by working hard to stay fluent in his native language tag-along. Ga Gabrielle, from where you stand, it might seem that you still have a long way to go, but let me assure you that you have already conquered the hardest and most challenging steps. Please continue to advocate for yourself and your multilingual peers. You have been a great role model for other students that are new to the U.S. Congratulations, Gabrielle. Congratulations. Good job, Paul. Olivia Randall, an eighth grader at West Hills Middle School, is nominated by her counselor, Carla, Carla Westerby. Ms. Westerby thoughtfully writes, Olivia has overcome many personal challenges that have transpired more recently over the last couple of years. Shortly after the pandemic hit, her older sister became very ill. Olivia stepped up, significantly helping the family by taking over more responsibilities than would be what would be expected. During this time, she needed to stay home and learn school virtually to help further protect her sister's health. Olivia struggled significantly with learning from home and academically was not doing well. She herself was diagnosed with dyslexia and had to learn how to navigate online learning with a new diagnosis that was getting in the way. In the fall of 2021, Olivia returned to school for the first time since March of 2020. It was an adjustment. Through all of the obstacles, Olivia remained incredibly resilient. One would never know the challenges she faced as she handled everything with poise, perseverance, and positivity. Her teachers describe Olivia as caring deeply about doing her best and not shying away from a challenge, always treating others with respect. She is a quiet leader and leads by example rather than vocally. She is so very worthy of recognition. Congratulations, Olivia. This past school year, Bloomfield Youth Assistance identified and honored three special deserving members of our community for the Outstanding Citizen Award. Please welcome our community award winners. Catherine, please come up. You may know Catherine Danishbarishtari as the past president of Bloomfield Hills High School PTO. She was the co-president for two years, or maybe you know her as the co-chair of the Multicultural Celebration, or maybe you know her as a champion of music with the Boosters, or maybe as a judge for forensics, or maybe you even know her as a co-chair of the Senior All Night Party. It's possible you know Catherine for her amazing hospitality and cooking skills. However you know her, to know Catherine is to know her strength as a volunteer and her love of our students and community. Catherine's friends and coworkers say this, the words that come to mind that best describe Catherine are inclusive and caring. What comes so naturally to her is making each and every activity inclusive of all voices that are present, of all perspectives that she can incorporate, and she is always asking who is missing or does not have access. She is a gem. She has volunteered for and stepped up for every role, often the ones that no one else will fill because there's so much work. 
She is brilliant, kind, funny, compassionate, understanding, and a great listener. She is also incredibly humble. Catherine has dedicated not only her time and talents, but her heart to everything she has done for Bloomfield Hills Schools. Catherine puts her heart and soul into every project, committee, or volunteer role. Bloomfield Hills Schools is so fortunate that Catherine is a part of this community. Thank you, Catherine, and congratulations. Jason is here, Jason Rasnick. Jason is a Bloomfield community member who has used his business success to provide ways to be a trusted adult and a role model for our community. Jason, as CEO of a successful company, has taken time out of his schedule to speak during the day multiple times to clubs at the high school. Jason has provided many opportunities to students in our community from mentorship to internships and is always willing to speak to any students who need support and guidance. Alumni Alexa Solomon shares, as a 2021 summer intern at Benzinga, Jason and his team gave me the experience of a lifetime, and I will forever cherish my time walking, working in such a stimulating and engaging environment. Jason was a mentor, leader, offered wonderful feedback. I was constantly learning, expanding my perspective, and inspired by those around me. I'm so grateful for the opportunity and chance Jason took on me, and I cannot wait to apply all of the skills. I acquired, I acquired to my postgraduate career. We are fortunate as a community to have Jason as a role model to students. Congratulations, Jason. Rania Shabib, can you please come to the stage? Many of you might already know Rania personally, as she touches many hearts. However, I can attest that the impact of Rania's work has reached most of us, if not all, as she serves in many organizations and engages with many activities. So hard to keep track of what she does, and it's mostly all behind the scenes. Some of the activities she is engaged with are founder and board member of the Muslim Foster Kids. She sits on the State of Michigan Foster Care Review Board, Muslim Unity Center Interfaith Key present, uh, Presenter, she is an active member of the Bloomfield Hill Schools with GET, PTIA, and PTOC. Friends and colleagues shared their experiences with BYA. Here are some highlights. Dedication, generosity, positivity, thoughtfulness. This is just the beginning of the words that come to mind when I think of Rania. Her commitment to the staff and students of the International Academy is unparalleled. From running the PTIA teacher grants programs to her tireless advocacy on behalf of the students, she is truly an inspiration. Rania has the absolute biggest heart. From fostering children at the drop of a hat to organizing all the teacher grants, she is always ready for another challenge. She is someone that you always want to volunteer with because of her positive attitude, intelligent comments, and hard work ethic. Rania is definitely making a huge difference in our community. Thank you for all you do and congratulations. We are pleased to take a few moments tonight to thank our sponsors. Bloomfield Hills Schools, Bloomfield Township, the City of Bloomfield, and the City of Bloomfield Hills, who donate in kind services and supplies to Bloomfield Youth Assistance. Also, the Oakland County Circuit Court Family Division for their guidance and support, and for providing our wonderful caseworker, Liz McGregor. And thank you to Nikki Keller and Mary Schusterbauer from Oakland County Youth Assistance for joining us this evening. We also want to send a big thank you to our local supporters, our BYA board members, all who are 100% volunteers and are passionate about supporting the youth in our community, the Oakland County Board of Commissioners, the Bloomfield Township Police Department, the Bloomfield Township Fire Department, 
the Bloomfield Hills Schools Board of Education, the Bloomfield Hills High School and their PTO who sponsored tonight's reception, Arbor Oakland Group for printing our posters, the Eagles for Children Foundation and the Country Clubs of Forest Lake, Pine Lake and Oakland Hills who help with our enrichment programs, and the BHS Bloomfield Hills Schools Foundation. We'd also like to thank Stephanie Bevier, Vicki Chandler, Scott Cleveland, and Megan Johnston for their assistance in tonight's ceremony. And thank you to the generous PTOC, school PTOs, and community members who have donated funds to Bloomfield Youth Assistance. A big thank you also goes out to our nominators and sponsors. We couldn't make this night happen without your insight and input. Thank you. We are fortunate to have both our Bloomfield Township Police Department and our Bloomfield Township Fire Department award a generous scholarship every year. Please welcome Community Resource Officer Nick Soley, who will award their Police Benevolent Association scholarship. Thank you, and thank you for having me. Uh, Officer Dave sends his condolences. He really wishes he could be here with all of you tonight. On behalf of the Bloomfield Township Benevolent Association, we just wanted to say congratulations to all of you on your awards. We go through each and every one of your applications, and we are very inspired by everything we read. It really assures us going forward knowing that you are the leaders of the future. This year, after going through all of the applications, we are very honored to present Andrew Zupancic with a $1,000 scholarship from the Bloomfield Township Benevolent Association. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before I exit the stage, I want to thank the Bloomfield Youth Assistance for all they do. The Bloomfield Township Police Department and the Benevolent Association know the hard work that they put in and how important the programs are that they, uh, that they put on. So on behalf of the Bloomfield uh, Township Police Benevolent Association, we'd like to offer a donation to the Bloomfield Youth Assistance for $1,000. We were honored to introduce Lieutenant Ed Leeds from the Bloomfield Township Fire Department to announce the Fire Department Scholarship Award winner. Well, it's tough to follow Officer Soli. Usually he's got his companionship dog. Today he's by himself. <laughs> it's an honor and a privilege. Every year I get to do this, and I'm just in awe at the accomplishments each and every one of you make each year. Um, it's fascinating to me to feel, uh, to see how you guys accomplish this while attending school. So congratulations to each one of you. Congratulations to your parents and your support, support staff that helps you achieve these goals. This year we have a pretty special candidate. Um, our candidate, um, Jessica, if you want to come on up here. <laughs> Jessica Passick, not only did she accomplish so much, but she's been dual enrollment and studying to be an EMT. Um, I personally didn't get the honor, but quite a few of our board members and our team at Bloomfield Township Fire Department got the opportunity to work with her as she did her clinical rotations right here in Bloomfield Township, serving the residents and the community, trying to get her qualifications for her EMT. So on behalf of the Bloomfield Township Fire Department, it's my honor and privilege to present you with this $1,000 scholarship as you go to Grand Valley State. Congratulations. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all of our outstanding citizens, and thank you for joining us this evening. As you may have seen, each award winner has a special poster to take home, so please take it on your way out. George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, said, if you want to be successful in a particular field, perseverance is one of the key qualities. 
This group of dedicated, talented young adults demonstrate perseverance in everything they do. We leave you with this thought from the ever-wise Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. Have a great night and may the fourth be with you.